Good evening. A Vancouver shipyard has won an $8 billion federal contract, and the ripple effect on Vancouver Island is going to be substantial. C-SPAN Marine will build non-combat vessels for the Coast Guard and military, while Halifax-based Irving shipyards will take on the $25 billion contract for combat ships. Now, while the Vancouver-based shipyards take on the big contracts, the rest of the work will come to Vancouver Island, the finishing work on these ships. CTV's Chandler Grieve has the story. Yeah, very good. So it's time to have a beer. <laughs> time to have a beer, beer. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Celebration is in order. It's not the top prize, but $8 billion worth of work over the next eight years is nothing to complain about. Silver medal, but it's a good silver medal. Yeah, we're happy. The gold medal of shipbuilding goes to Halifax, but the runner-up prize for C-SPAN and BC has the Nanaimo shipyard talking. We would not have been happy if the, we didn't get either one. Our C-SPAN wasn't awarded one of them, but we're happy that that one happened for sure. I think it's a great day for BC, for Vancouver Island and Nanaimo in general. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to put more people to work. The spillover effect from the Vancouver C-SPAN contract will be felt on the island. More contracts means a variety of ships, such as the Souk, a 110-foot dive tender, will be coming into the Nanaimo port to be worked on. Details of how the relationship will work with C-SPAN will be worked out in the near future. But for now, the boost will likely mean 4,000 jobs in B.C. and lead to an expansion of the shipyard in the Harbour City. The, the shipyard right now is at fairly full capacity with what it has now. To be able to take on additional work will require uh, spending on infrastructure, both in Port Alberni and in Nanaimo. As for the fate of the current location on the Newcastle Channel... We'll have to look at the business case of staying here. Uh, we'll have to look at the provincial support, the municipal support that's going to come now that this has been announced. Now, even after Wednesday's big announcement, there's still smaller size contracts for smaller size ships available. These contracts total $2 million, and C-SPAN and the Halifax shipyard are ineligible to make a bid, meaning the Nanaimo shipyard is more than a viable option for these contracts. For our yard, there's also the smaller vessel package. For the details on the $2 billion small ship program haven't been, have not come out yet. Uh, they've talked about what some of the vessels will be, but no, that's not a definite uh, award to the Quebec shipyard. An early message from Ron and the Nanaimo shipyard that they are willing to take on the Quebec shipyard for future federal contracts. The shipyard in Quebec left Wednesday's announcement empty-handed. It's unfortunate about Quebec, but uh, my understanding is they were the latest bidder, so I don't know. I, I, I just hope uh, the, the, more, the more contracts for BC, the better. More jobs and a brighter future. Yes, it's easy to smile in BC today. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.